Hey, it's Heather, and I've been working all morning, so I'm ready for a meal. Now, in keeping with my New Year healthy resolution to eat better, uh, I'm going to have a salad, but I'm hungry, so I've got to add a few things to it. So I'm going to add a little sliced steak and a toasted herb cheese crouton. It's delicious. I also want to show you some things I've picked up along the way in the test kitchen about how to make a better salad. Let's get cooking. Okay, it's a salad, so we're going to start with the lettuce. First, I'm going to talk about what I don't like. I don't like salad kits. You have the croutons and the cheese and the dressing and uh, stale lettuce. This is fast food in a bag. I don't like that. One rung up the ladder is just lettuce in a bag already cut. Again, you're going to lose all the freshness. Convenient, but not tasty. So, bye. However, there are a lot of good pre-washed bag lettuces. The difference is they're made with whole leaves. Baby leaves, whole leaves, either one. Terrific, everywhere, convenient. Check the date, very perishable. Make sure you get you know, a really far distant date of expiration. You get a little bored with the varieties. So, sometimes you have to go the old fashioned way with a good old head of lettuce. You get a great, great variety. Iceberg, don't this iceberg, nothing wrong with iceberg. Romaine, uh, I have here a radicchio and endive, both of which have a nice bitterness. A delicate Boston bib, arugula, terrific. But today, I'm gonna go with red leaf and green leaf. So now I'm gonna show you the classic method of watching uh, salad greens, kale, any kind of greens. Uh, basically, you take a bowl of water, fill it up, and uh, you're gonna tear your greens right into the bowl like I've already done. Um, and what you're gonna do is just swish it around a little bit. Uh, that way you can sort of, you know, slosh the dirt off. And then you're going to take it out of the water so that gravity will pull the dirt down. You do it about two to three times, depending on how dirty your greens are. Sometimes they are really, really dirty. Um, but it's a nice way of doing it because it doesn't really bruise your greens. And then dump the water, and you can tell right away if you need to do another one because there will be dirt. And indeed there is. salads already. Now I'm going to get to the croutons. Um, if you like the little kind that you can get in a store, don't buy them. Make them. You just take a loaf of white bread, dice it, mix it with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, bake it off for about four, uh, bake it off for 400 for about 10 minutes, and that's it. Uh, but I'm going to go with something a bit more substantial. Uh, a cheese crouton, where you need bread and cheese, and that's it. You're going to slice the bread on the diagonal into about one inch rounds, take about a teaspoon of your herb cheese, spread it on, and put it in a 400 oven again for about 10 minutes. You want it to get a little golden brown um, and melt it, but watch it, because sometimes 10 minutes might be too much. Okay, while I'm baking off the croutons, we're going to make the easiest vinaigrette known to man. You need a jar, any jar will do. Uh, I like to use about a cup of extra virgin olive oil, but by all means, if you like another kind of oil, that would be fine too. And then I add about a quarter of a cup of vinegar. Again, I'm using white wine, but white wine vinegar by all means. Red wine's good, champagne's good. I would, I would avoid balsamic, just because it's kind of heavy. But if you like it, use it. Um, also, I like to put in Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon. Um, it sort of holds it all together. And then uh, salt and pepper. You can add chopped garlic, chopped shallots. Tarragon is also one of my favorite uh, additions. And if you like a little sweeter so um, dressing, just uh, add a little sugar, just a touch. Okay, and now my favorite part, the best thing, the easiest thing. No whisks, none of that. You're done, your vinaigrette. Keeps for about two weeks in the fridge, it's a winner. Okay, now it's time to put it all together. Uh, I'm just going to take some of my salad with my impeccably clean hands, as Julia would say, and I uh, like to toss it with a little bit of the vinaigrette and a touch of salt. Mix it well, and then we're going to put it on our plate. It's lunchtime. I have my steak, salad, croutons, only four ounces of lean meat. All right, so maybe I'll only have two of the three croutons. Uh, I don't typically have wine with lunch, but I cannot resist this pair. I've chosen two, a terrain from the Loire Valley, that's a Sauvignon Blanc. 
But what I'm really gonna go with today is the red from Long Island. It's called Cru. It's a blend of Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Franc is a big grape out there. It's got tannins and a slight bell pepper taste that works really great with the steak, the cheese, and the salad. Just a little tasting pour. And uh, I'm going to enjoy my lunch for much, much more. Soka.tv. Check it out.